I, like almost everyone, have friends and family that have been afflicted with cancer, and so you see it firsthand, and that sort of drives you to really try to push the envelope. When patients come to me and they have this devastating diagnosis that's handed to them, we talk a lot about not just duration, we talk about quality of life, we talk about goals, we talk about interests, we talk about what makes them them. I always tell them that we're going to plan treatment around your life and not the other way around. One of the nice things about being a physician researcher is that you're constantly interacting with patients. You understand what their unique challenges are. The Solid Tumor Therapeutics Program here at Siteman Cancer Center is unique in that the researchers and physicians who are part of that program are not only researchers and specialists in that area of interest, but they also see and treat those patients who have those specific malignancies. And that process allows us to translate exciting developments into treatments that can be beneficial for our patients. The big picture theme of our research program is to really try to improve the therapies that we have in cancer now and take some of the therapies that work in some cancers and extend them to some of the other cancers where currently there's not a lot of good options. Each individual patient who has cancer, even if they have the same molecular subtype, has a completely different trajectory. Each person is an individual puzzle that we have to solve. My area of expertise is thoracic malignancies, and my specific research interest is personalized therapy for patients with lung cancer. For a long period of time, all patients with lung cancer were treated the same with chemotherapy. With chemotherapy, we're typically trying to keep cancer just controlled. If there's some shrinkage, it's a bonus. But with these targeted therapies, since there's more precise targeting of the cancer, by targeting the mechanism that's causing the cancer to grow, there is a greater chance of reducing the burden of the tumor. And through these advances, we're seeing not only survival improving in patients, but we're seeing really an improvement in quality of life. And that really makes this work that we're doing really gratifying. One of the focuses right now of my research program is this model of cancer that we've developed in the lab that allows us to take the human immune system and put it into a mouse to study human tumors in a mouse that has a human immune system. And that's really important for some of these immune therapies. A big part of the research focus at Siteman now is to take these immune therapies and try to make them work in other cancer types. One of the key findings of the research study that we just published was that we identified a new molecule, hadn't been described before, that was present in a lot of these patients with more aggressive cancers. So we think this not only might be a new marker, but also maybe something that we can target, meaning we could come up with a new drug or a new molecule that targets that to be able to take patients that have this marker and have a very specific therapy for them. And I don't think that would have been possible to have any sort of success without a lot of these collaborators, without the great leadership at Siteman that allow you to take a good idea, even though it may be a little bit out there or you don't have the funding for it, but it seems like a good idea and, and they support that here. And what that allows us to do is just have this big picture program with a lot of strength that feed into that same goal of coming up with new treatments, new tests, new therapeutics. I love spending time with my family. I'm married and I have two children. My children and I like to bake. My daughter likes to decorate cakes as well. We go out for a walk every day in the evening to recharge and talk about everyone's day. I have a 12-year-old son and a nine-year-old daughter, and my son has baseball, my daughter's playing soccer. My wife is from St. Louis, and her parents live a couple miles away from us, so we do a lot with the family, especially on the weekends. We have to remember that our patients are the ultimate heroes in cancer research. Several of our patients have been part of those landmark clinical trials that have led to several agents over the past five to six years being FDA approved. Look a patient in the eye and say, this was developed by a researcher here. It's a great, promising therapy. We've seen good results. We think this may be a good option for you. We're not just looking at prolonging life. We're looking at quality of life. And that's really what personalized medicine is all about. We wouldn't be able to do it without the infrastructure at Siteman, the support of the patients, and this team approach. With these treatments, we've really revolutionized how we treat patients with cancer. In some individuals, these treatments, they can benefit patients really quickly, sometimes even in a matter of days. And that can be the difference between not being able to breathe and being able to breathe without oxygen. You're rated as a cancer center 
not only because you're an excellent center, but how are you an excellent center in your region? And we've served our region very well and have asked and answered and continue to ask and answer really important questions to the people here in St. Louis and the surrounding areas.